Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next time of OkoDBA Tutor. Uh, today I'm going to take you to um, setting up Golden Gate 11G uh, release 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 uh, two I think yeah it release two uh, the software. And basically I'm gonna I'm going to um, install it on my um, one of the databases that I have that I have my system um, you know on my um, already on my system and basically I'm going to take you through Again, 11G, the local Golden Gate 11G installation is, is very different from uh, the 12C one. So I'm going to take you to the 11G one and then basically just take you step by step. So to get started, um, I've already, um, I've already posted all these steps on my, um, on the discussion section for the, for the YouTube channel. So if you, if you need to set up your, uh, Golden Gate, uh, software, just go to that, go to the page and get the scripts. So first thing you need to do is, uh, of course you need to download the Golden Gate software. Um, I've already downloaded it. So if I go into my, if I go into my file system, uh, basically I have a lot of, um, let me see, should be GG. Let me see. There you go. So I've downloaded, this is the, this, this one. So. After you download it, of course you have to extract it. After you extract it, then basically you uh, you eventually get the actual the actual uh, software, which would be let me see if I can find it. It should be actually you know what? What I did is I extracted it into a um. I, sh I should have this in my notes actually. So. So when you so the thing about is, uh, installing Golden Gate is you want to install it um, in a in a in a particular di directory, you know like um, where that directory is only is only is only going to be for you know your your Golden Gate installation. So basically, <clears throat> uh, again, so the first thing is you have to create a Golden Gate software directory, uh, which I've already uh, done. Golden. Okay, so basically it's um, let me see. Yeah, so basically, so to extract it, I've I've, I've extracted it into this into this directory, uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna see all the all the different folders and and um and actual files. You're gonna see the the the, the DR, again, uh, dear chk dear dear d d a t dear uh the uh, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of files so you can you can also be very specific and just have like i just told you you know uh, again so for me I'm, I'm really trying to uh limit my um my uh you know my my footprint so basically so what i'm doing is i'm just i'm just um i'm sort of you know consolidating you know both my going yourself for and you know all the different documents that i have so um what I would do now is again. So you first thing you have to do is you have to create a uh, directory. So I've already created, but I'm using this directory. So for you, you know, you would probably again the, the command that I have is you know the make did the make did command, and then you just um you know you know, and then you point to the Golden Gate. Um, let me actually do this. So there you go. So this is my directory, right? So what I'm gonna do is after you create, after you you've gone to the make directory and then you create your, your folder again. So I've created my folder inside of my, you know, inside the same path where I have my um uh, my my Oco that my my um uh, my Oco software. Uh, what you do is you need to make sure that your database is in archive log mode. So first thing I'll do is uh, I will actually just um. I'm going to be using a uh, uh, the database is going to be um, v11g2h2. That's going to be my uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, instance name. So I'm going to uh, go into that instance right now. So SID okay v11g2h2. So basically, I'm I'm logged in just to check. Uh, select instance underscore name, status. 
from the dollar instance. Uh, that's my database instance name. That's uh, the status is open. Of uh, course. Uh, so what I do next is check it, make sure that database is in archive log mode. Uh, and again, you can run. You, all you have to do is run this command: archive log list. And my database is in archive log mode. Um, so next thing we need to do is we need to uh, connect to uh, GGSCI, which is the uh, command line uh, utility for you know. Uh, that you used to administer the Golden Gate software. So what I would do is I would actually um, I would actually log out. So quit, and then what I'll do is I am going to uh, go to my GGSCI um, 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 file location. So let me do this. Golden Gate. Um, Copy the path, CD, and then GGSEI. There you go. So I just, I just um basically, I just um just um started access my Golden software for this you know for this particular instance. So what I'll do now is I need to um. I need to run the command create uh sub sub this uh sub sub directories basically. But basically yeah, so the thing is so uh you have to run you're running this command on uh you have to run this command for for version eleven G for eleven G. Uh for eleven G um the Oracle uh, uh Golden Gate uh, version eleven G. Um but you do not have to run this command for twelve C. So um and again this is only for eleven G. So first thing I'll do is I'm already logged in. I'm going to run the command create sub this. So the sub this has been created. Or oh, they already they already exist. Okay. Anyways, so basically actually you know what? Let me make sure I have this right. Yeah. So what I could have also done is I could have also just gone into um a DGSCI and just launched it from you know from just Double click on it. So you, that's the short, that's the you know fast way to do it. So um, what I'll do next is I've already created my subdirectory. So again, so just make sure you know uh, you do have you need to have the, the subdirectories uh, available for you to you know continue to do anything you know in terms of using the Golden Gate software. So now you need to um, basically just create a um, a Golden Gate user. So what I'll do is I will actually just go back into my Go back into my my uh, my my SQL plus. Um, go back into my instance um, as sysdba. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my uh, my user. I'm gonna create the um DB user uh, password and again so. Uh, yeah. So let me just do this. Create. Create user. Let me bring this slide so you can see exactly what I'm typing. So basically, it's going to be create create user. Uh, it's going to be gg admin actually identified. By DG admin um, default table space users um, and then temporary table space is going to be TMP. And again, so what, what I should have probably done is I should actually just run the um, um, just to confirm what my table spaces are but um just that just create the user okay so this is what I should have done 
select table space name from the dollar table space. Or rather, let me just describe the dollar table space. Select name from the dollar table space. There you go. So, and again, I'm using the user uh, user table space. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> I'd like to use, I should actually like change it to example. So, what I'll do is I'm going to change my table, my table space, um, the default table space for my uh, for DG admin. So, I'll say Um, give me one second. I'm not sure if it's auto user. Okay, so um, let me describe describe uh, all underscore users. Um, I need to figure out what my uh, what my what my objects are. So let me do this. Username, user ID. Um, let me do describe the uh, describe all underscore table spaces. Okay. So okay. Um, anyway, so I've just altered my user and I and I assigned the example table space to that user. So what I'll do is, um, I will let me make sure I'm gonna grant um a number a number of privileges to uh, the DG admin user. So I'm gonna run grant connect resource unlimited table space. To GG admin, uh, and again, this unlimited space is basically is a command, is a uh, privilege that I found that many other posts, that many posts they just assigned, they just um, granted this privilege to the uh, the GG, the GG ad admin, the, the Golden Gate uh, software administrator. So um, what I do next is I'm gonna I'm gonna grant um, I'm gonna grant uh, the another another privilege that's gonna be Grant execute on UTL underscore file to GG admin. Okay, so what I'll do next is I will actually. So now I'm going to install my Golden Gate um, service. So actually, I've already I've already installed my Golden Gate service. So if I was to run this command again, um, which is this one and start. So if I was to again just exit, I'm already in Golden Gate. So if I was to do this, install add events, add service. So the service is already is already is already running. So um again, so you would you know again as you're going through your installation actually if for the first time you have to install the golden gate service uh, i can actually um i wish i had my services window open um, but basically it's just you have to have a services window to be able to you know you know go through the uh you know using the golden gate software but anyways um so what i'll do next is um actually let me see if i can open it for you Services, just give it a sec. Let's 
So it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be the GGMGR that's the service that's gonna that's gonna be created. Um so was there you go. So let me just uh expand this. Um uh, enter so you should, should you, after you after you run this command, you should look for after you run the install add events as service. You should look for the ggmgr um, service. There you go. So I have it. I have mine. You know, already installed. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to start it. Um, and actually, you know what? Copy that. Okay, I'm going to start it. So. Uh, Oh, actually, you know what? It's already started, so never mind. Uh, let me close this window. Okay. And then what I'll do next is uh, let me bring back, you know, uh, single plus to this side. Let me scroll down. Uh, this is a message. It's going to tell you that, you know, this was a, you know, successfully created. And then you need to, uh, next, you need to run these scripts. Um, the marker underscore. Uh, set up on this uh, that SQL, these SQL scripts. So, um, what I actually do is, you know what? I will actually, I would actually, um, let me do this. I am, I, I already, I've already ran the scripts on this, on this Golden Gate. So, what I do is, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, uh, extract, uh, um, another, you know, Another, I'm gonna partition, uh, do, do, doing a, a partitioning for an, another, another Golden Gate software. And I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna create a second home, so basically, so I'll be able to run these trips uh, uh, again for you, for you to see what exactly, um, you know, is, is going on. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching. I will be right back.